Good morning. Caitlin and I are in the car. It's dark out. It's cold too. It's cold and rainy. It's early morning and we are headed off to Boone to number one, bring her back to school. Number two, go to a football game where I can watch her play in the band and everything else. So I haven't done that in a little while. So we're going to do that today. So, but because Boone's two and a half hours away and she's got to be there by nine, we got to get out before it gets light out. So we're gonna hit the road. All right, that's it for now until it gets light out because this camera sucks in the dark. So we'll see you then. It's icy. cold wet day at the football game to Boone um, not too bad uh, the roads weren't too bad on the way up um, as we were climbing the mountains it was obviously apparent that uh, they, they had an ice storm here last night so uh, roads weren't bad at all uh, the, the car was showing 33 34 degrees outside the whole way up although a couple of the bridges that we drove over were uh, very obviously slick so uh, we had to uh, be careful there a little bit and uh, so right now I'm just sitting here kind of waiting uh, Caitlin is in getting um, her rehearsals out of the way and she's going to have a little bit of time between rehearsal and uh, the uh, concert on the lawn the lawn concert is actually right over there that's that's where they have the concert on the lawn and I managed to get a spot uh, to park right on the street right directly across the street from that spot. So that's where we are right now, waiting for Caitlin to get out of rehearsal. And then her and I are gonna go grab a bite to eat somewhere here in town. <laughs>
nothing. All over us.
marching Mountaineers. Under the direction of Mr. Don Peach, and under the field direction of drum majors Matthew Langford, Michael Haynes, and Emily Wright, we proudly present North Carolina Band of Distinction.
the colors of the United States of America.
six percussionists, 27 color guard, and featured majorette Carrie Cook. The Marching Mountaineers serve as North Carolina's band of distinction. The Marching Mountaineers are under the leadership of Mr. Don Beach, Dr. John Ross, Mr. Joe Conti, and the field direction of drum majors Matthew Langford, Emily Wright, and Michael Haynes. This afternoon, we would like to take a moment to recognize our seniors for their four years of service and dedication to the Marching Mountaineers and the Hayes School of Music. First, Joshua Adams, saxophone. Walker Ballard, saxophone. Laura Briggs, piccolo. Natalie Brown, color guard. Allison Chambers, clarinet. Ian Clapp, saxophone. Chase Ehrlich, trumpet. Elizabeth Feather, piccolo. Rachel Gallardo, front ensemble. Kelly Green, front ensemble. Caroline Guthrie, trumpet. Zach Gutierrez, mellophone. Haley Howitt, mellophone. Matthew Lankford, drum major. Emma Luckadoo, mellophone. Sam Lyle, drum line. Laura Melton, trumpet. Aaron Soulsline, saxophone. Caroline Sullivan, piccolo. Rebecca Summy, saxophone. Joseph Taylor, sousaphone. John Tester, drum line. Lauren Tiger, trumpet. Caitlin Winkler, clarinet. Rachel Wood, baritone. Emily Wright, drum major. Jacob Spira, drum line. Congratulations and thank you to all of our seniors. Now I see Bohemian Rhapsody on the silver screen. You sure need to do that. We're going to continue with our tribute to Queen this afternoon, one of the greatest bands in rock history. And of course, Randy Mercury to go along with that with the playing of selections in the lap of the gods, a crazy little thing called love, and Bohemian Rhapsody.
be hosting the inaugural Sun Belt Championship game on Saturday, December 1st, right here at Kid River Stadium at 12 noon. Don't miss your
again. And our day is actually still going. We're uh, just getting back to Caitlin's dorm. It's, uh, you can see the football stadium. Up. is really picked up. So we're back in her dorm. All right, and we in. Ooh. Feels like a hundred degrees in here. Basketball arena, which is right there, where she's got to work today. She works for the uh, TV production crew, and um, just dropped her off there. She had to be there at 12:30, so we're essentially done. So it is time to go home. So that's what I'm doing now. Before we left, we stopped off and got a few gifts at the. Uh, local stores there on King Street, which is the main drag right here, Boone. With that, we're going to go ahead and end it. That's it for this little trip. Just a quick little overnight trip to App State to have a little fun that we don't get a chance to do very often. Hope you enjoyed it.
Thanks for watching this episode of Two Tourists and a Camera. Please like and subscribe down below. We have everything linked in the description box. Please follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook all the places. And uh, be sure to hit that bell at the bottom as well. That way you'll be notified as soon as we put up a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Oh,